It sits on one of the busiest streets in Hillcrest. It's surrounded by a chain link fence and barbed wire. Just about the only thing left that's recognizable is the sign, Pernicano's Casa di Buffy. The bottom of my stomach falls out every time I see it. It is, it is the most awful thing that can possibly be in our neighborhood. Bob Grinchuk is the president of the Hillcrest Business Association. He says the prime piece of property has sat vacant, locked and dirty for more than 20 years. He says it should be condos, shops, public parking. That would be fabulous. But instead, it just sits here kind of like like an old graveyard. Pernicano's used to be the most happening place in town. The name Costa di Buffy means house of the mustache. The owner, George Pernicano, is well known for his handlebar mustache, his love of the Chargers and his restaurant that was once a popular hangout for players and the Hollywood elite. In 1985, Pernicano shut the restaurant down and walked away. He wouldn't give News 8 an on-camera interview, but he did say that he would never sell the building because his heart and soul is still here. His memories must be somewhat bittersweet to never to not be able to grow into something else. Chris Nelson, who owns Blue Stocking Books, says the boarded up building attracts the worst kind. They can be there for days at a time and no one will um, like defend that space. So then that space kind of gets taken over by the bad seed. Now, many are hoping that after more than two decades of emptiness, George Pernicano will find it in his heart to take down the fence and let the community back in. Uh, the community supported you. It came to your restaurant. There's a generation of people my age who remember it fondly, but he's lost all of his goodwill and he really needs to do something for us.